Hey everybody, before we get started with the episode of the Bill Squire Show, the 69th, which honestly is, I thought it was going to be sexier, but it's just regular. It's fine though, uh, but it is the 69th episode, so thanks for helping us get to this milestone, which is a nice milestone. And I want to thank everybody that has purchased or listened to my album, but I have to rank them. If you purchased it, you get a bigger thank you than if you just listened to it. I appreciate both, but purchasing it puts money in my pocket. Just streaming it puts, you know, there's dollars versus cents. So if you purchased it, you get the biggest thank you. Thank you so much. And if you just streamed it, you get a, hey, thanks. Does that make sense? Because purchasing it puts dollars in my pockets and just streaming it puts less than a penny in my pocket. And appreciate both. But I just want to let you know that if you bought it, thank you so much. And if you streamed it, thanks. All right, enjoy this episode of The Bill Squire Show. This is The Bill Squire Show. Something along the lines of we, we, we didn't find you likable. Oh, wait, okay. But it wasn't even like a talent position. It was like uh, an like an administrative. That's really like, weird. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just like fuck Netflix. I I and I'm I don't want to work there. Yeah. <laughs> so I did my part to make yeah. sure that they'll I'll never still hire. work for you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. I am your host Bill Squire, and right here by my side is Tommy L C. At Tommy, oh, you can hear Whoopsie panting into the <laughs> microphone right off the bat. And uh, at Tommy LC on OnlyFans, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Or, and then you can also check her out on Instagram and Twitter at the same address. And then AJ DeCosimo. Hello. And that is AJ. That's me. His signature, hello. <laughs> really gets everybody hyped up. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, bud. Tell me about uh, Good Meal Jane. They're tasty. It is it's tasty, some tasty right? fucking some, shit, man. It's some tasty pizza. It's not shit. It's no, it's no. Oh, you're right, Tommy. It's very good well, pizza. Yes. I like eating it. I like it when it, it enters my body. That's a good way to put it. Exits? That's right, Jane. And to- even yes, it, pizza's so good that you even like shitting it out. <laughs> That's right. It tastes just as good coming out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have uh, taste buds in my anus disease. A little disclaimer so. here: don't eat. Your shit. No, wow. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. That is a little... And the pizza goes in your yeah, mouth. It takes pizza one... goes in your mouth. Pizza, Good Meal Jane's goes in your mouth. And I, it's real good that way. I like it when it enters my body. Yeah, it's good pizza. <laughs> that should be uh, the, the slogan. Can I do that if we ever cut a promo? I'd be like, we're cutting a promo right now. I know, but like like a, like an actual commercial if we ever do one. Yeah. I'd be like, Good Meal Jane's, it's good when it enters your body. Absolutely you can. I mean, they, and have, just to, breathe. they have to sign <laughs> off on it. I had a good meal, Jane, last week. It, it's so good. Um, just great. Great pizza. What's the number? one eight 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 four pizza 2 That's right. And then at Good Meal Jane on Instagram, you'll get all the links on how to order from there. So thank you uh, for your sponsorship, Good Meal Jane. And thank you for the pizza that you serve to the people of the world. It's so good when it the enters best. your body. It's so good when it enters your body. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this I'm week that. we got we got jokes, but we also have a new segment that we're going to do. We do, what? yes, with uh, Tommy. So Tommy. Tommy has been collecting memes all week. Meme lord. Because if you follow Tommy on Instagram, you know. Whoops, I'm trying to get over here. There we go. Uh, you know that uh, Tommy is like her story's always chock full of stuff. <laughs> All like the all the things, <laughs> it's political things, it's comedy things, it's uh, anime things, it's all sorts of things. So mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure that we didn't keep overlooking that, and we we pay attention. We have to showcase the talent. The future. That's right. We have to showcase the future. So here we go. <laughs> Here's uh, I'm gonna minimize this over here because I don't think I can drag these over. If I, if I drag this over, will it? Go. Is that gonna work? No. no. Okay, so I gotta. I can do it th- this way though. 
Uh, a little editing here to make this smooth. <laughs> Exit Remember chat roulette, guys? Man, <laughs> why, why were you not allowed to use it? Well, I just there was the sound didn't work, uh, yeah, so yeah. I, I didn't use yeah. it. And then, and then there's also like we need like verbal agreement that they will, yeah, be yeah, okay makes sense. So like, yeah, that that one kind of fell apart. Uh, but okay, all right, here we go. Here are the memes. The memes. This segment is called Tom memes. And here's <laughs> this one uh, has to do I'm with the that. Guardians, uh, the new name for the Indians. And this one is the one that you made, right? Uh, yeah, I did. This is this is a Tommy original. That's we're, excellent. We're what I strong. ordered, what I received. We got the amazing Guardians logo by OK Pants. He did a rebrand for the Browns a few years ago. It works well for the Indians too. But then this is the ones we got. We got this. <laughs> The the Just wing one. I don't hate the, the wing one. You I, I don't. I don't hate I, it. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't hate, I don't, I don't hate, so it. hate it. Everyone. I saw it's, it. It's it. To me, it's corny, but it's baseball. Go, Baseball's corny. When I saw it for the first time, I I said to myself, I said, "That's a, I like it. It's a, it's two G's hugging a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> the Cleveland G hugs. I don't like this the the C diamond though. I don't like that one. Yeah. No. I don't actually hate anything about it. Of? Really? Yeah. No? I, I don't hate them. I mean, but Pants is, is better. Pants is way better. Yeah. It's just more modern and more cool, and it's just got, it's yeah. It's nice. This one, Yeah, these ones need help. All they right. do need help. And, you know, there's time for there to get more help. All right, so next one. What is this one? Uh, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> all right, this yeah. one. What is it? All right, all right. So this one, uh, we got. Uh, it's a couple cooking. We'll bring it on over, and says it's a couple cooking. And the guy says, "Honey, did I ever tell you that you cook well?" And she said, "Aw, no, babe." And then he says, "So why do you keep cooking?" <laughs> did you make that? Or did you find <laughs> it? That's that so up. funny. <laughs> That's a very funny one. <laughs> That's a that's a good one. I like it's just I, like a stock photo meme, but it's right. it's funny and I like it. My Those favorite, my, favorite. my yeah. favorite thing, I like the towel on the no, guy's shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. yeah, like he's ready to <laughs> step in whenever she gets no. tired of doing. Like you're not doing great. Uh, <laughs> okay, now this one. As a dog owner, I can relate. It says the first person to ever feed his dog chocolate, and then it's a picture. It's one of the penguins crying from Madagascar, saying, oh "Noted, my God, dogs dying." <laughs> Wow, I, is that real? That feeding chocolate? a dog chocolate? Yeah, yeah, you, you can. You're really off mic today. Sorry, it's okay. okay. You're just like <laughs> kind of to the side of it. Yeah, you should not feed your dog chocolate. Yeah, don't feed your dog. Well, chocolate. I feel like my dog has accidentally gotten like. Well, if a little well, bit's not going to kill you it. You have a 500 pound dog. Oh, he's not 500. You have pounds. a bear. <laughs> like you don't have how, a dog. How, how much does your dog weigh? Like 170. That's a big dog. Big dog. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, your dog has like seventy pounds on you. Your yes. your dog can well, fight. Not 70, your well, dog can I'm, fight in the light. Your, your dog can fight in the lightweight division. <laughs> he doesn't even know like when he's like getting attacked. Like he at the dog beach. Oh, like right. other little dogs don't like him, and like they'll bite him, and he just doesn't move. He's like Clifford. <laughs> yeah, between his fur. Who picks up Cl- Clifford's? Uh, shit. Yeah, that's a. Um, I. It's fertilizer, actually. Fertilizer, baby. Yeah, they just use it. It's. Oh. So you guys have all the answers. That big, <laughs> that big dog shit in New York City. That's Imagine. Insane. Did you see that sense. Arthur's getting canceled? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Oh, about time. That show was terrible. I, I know. <laughs> I think it's because of all those negative things he said about women. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one. A uh, Gary Larson. I like that meme. Just means anything. It yeah. really does. <laughs> so this one is a Gary Larson, a classic, uh, Far Side comic. I love Far Side. Daryl suspected someone had once again slipped him a trick spoon with the con. The concave side reversed, <laughs> and he's just using a spoon upside down trying to eat soup, and it's fucking brilliant. Can I tell you my favorite uh, yes. far side? Yes. Thing? It's 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 this. Do you it's want a, to look it up? N- no, I can explain it. It's it's a buck, it's a buck at like a, a deer, and mm-hmm. it has like a, a a target on its side, like a you know Aww. like a like a yeah. bullseye, mm-hmm. yeah. and then the, 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 a deer goes up to him. He's just like, oh, that's a bummer of a tattoo, L. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That's great. It's so uh, what a great, uh, what a brilliant man. Larson started, was great. He still he started doing stuff again because he of did digital art, which is great. All right, next one. All right, I keep doing like these little 
It's because I'm grabbing it for the wrong part. All right, New York, $200 french fries offer escape from reality. And then Alyssa says, okay, but this is true of all french fries. French fries are the best? French fries are but not all among french... my favorite foods. Yes. But f- not yeah. all french fries are $200 french fries. Right, but all french fries uh, offer the escape from reality. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have These to pay. Heavenly. She, what she's saying is you don't have to pay $200. Are, are those, to... is those mushrooms on those fries? I don't know what the fuck. Is. I don't want those it looks french like, fries. Yeah, no, it looks those like are gross. ham or something. I'm, I, I find french fries overrated. What? I'm not crazy about them. You are Mr. Controversial today. I'm, I'm, I'm like here with the hot takes. I logo, and I don't <laughs> find... No, I French I, fries all that good. I like <laughs> French fries, but like it's it's the clear cut number two part to anything I order. No, it's always my number one. Well, you don't eat well, real yeah. food meat, well, but no. <laughs> food. yeah, Tommy, yeah. You, yeah. you you bitch. <laughs> do you how do you uh, feel about Burger King fries? I don't like them. We I talked mean, about them. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, not good. Burger King yeah, fries are gross. the worst fries. So we're not gonna get that sponsor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. No, Wendy's fries are okay. I like those. Oh, I, they're probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, there you go. And I have them as a sponsor, so that's good. Uh, like McDonald's, you don't like like good French fries. Like outstanding French fries can eclipse the rest of the meal for I me. I don't think not for me. Ooh, uh. There's they're like the Winchester has incredible French fries. I've had them. They're good. They're very good. They're very good French fries. Okay, I like this one. Still French fries. <laughs> Which way will it land? There's a shoe. <laughs> There's a sh- uh, Vans taped to a cat. And I'm guessing the joke here is because uh, I didn't get this one that Does really. The cat always lands on its feet. Yeah. Well, like, but a Vans always lands on, on its the, feet. Yeah. yeah. I guess. So, like, yeah. So who's then, gonna land? And then the the caption underneath it says, "This will create a black hole," mm-hmm. which I have a black <laughs> hole joke later. Do you? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> what kind of black hole? <laughs> Just like it's about space. Okay. Yes. So, have you tried it like with Nikes? Is it all shoes? Just because of the, the hey, what are you trying rubber? To do? If you just drop it. Like if you just like spin it and let it drop. Okay, no. no but no. Vans do. All right. Let's, let's see. I am wearing Vans. Are you? I am. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do let's it. see. I got a pair of Vans here too somewhere. Oh, they're right here. Oh. oh. It try. will flip. It straight up flips. Not good for a radio. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Do it over there so it doesn't hit anything. Oh, uh, no. That's a, <laughs> we believe it. We believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so vans will land waffle side down. Every time. All right. This one. Oh, this one I love. <laughs> it took me a second to figure out what's going on here. Yeah. So a doorbell rings. It's the lady from B-Movie. Who is it? And then it's a, a picture of a ring camera. And it's a bee flying in and says, sup, sup, baby girl, it's your boy. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Bee movie? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen bee movie, but that doesn't... See, the thing I don't like about this meme is I read it and it doesn't scream Jerry to me. It doesn't scream Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, he wouldn't say sup, <laughs> No, baby he girl, wouldn't say that. He'd be boy. like, hello! <laughs> but, but what I think this implies is that she fucks any bee. Right. Oh. She likes to <laughs> fuck bees. I like it now. <laughs> I mean, they vibrate, so yeah. like, that would Buzz. be good. Though. Be careful. All right. You also buzz when you talk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> final, <laughs> final Tom meme. When when someone asked me how I'm coping, and it's uh, Hol- Sailor Moon holding up a bag of turds. No, it's <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> oh. It looks like turds. It looks like turds. No. It looks like, like little poops. Yeah, a little like yeah, like little like. Uh, she called it Sailor Poop. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like a blooming onion too. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a blooming onion. <laughs> blooming onion. Yeah. She's just closing her one eye. She's not winking. She's closing her eyes so she doesn't get pink eye from all the poop. <laughs> <laughs> so eating poop makes Sailor Moon feel better. That's right. She's like, a bunch of 48-year-old men are going to masturbate to this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched Sailor Moon. Is it good? Uh, if you're a 48-year-old man <laughs> who's really into, into that thing. a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's probably it who it's more designed much, to. In my opinion, it's but. probably more aimed towards uh, <laughs> those those ladies, right? Yes. Yeah. What, those Wait, ladies, the fourteen-year-old the girls. Mm. I keep doing this wrong. It's a new bit. <laughs> it's a, it's new, a new bit, bit. <laughs> but it's okay. 
Dragons have wings, yeah. Yeah, yeah usually. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a... It's part well, of well the not empire. like Japanese ones. Oh, that's a good oh, point. Yeah. That's a good yeah. point. I'm I'm not uh, hip to the Japanese dragon to them Jap dragons. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, do not put that out, please. That is the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> those, <laughs> those those Jap dragons. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. And we're back. You guys didn't even know we were gone. You didn't. But we are back, and now we are going to do some jokes. I believe it's my turn to go first? I think it's my turn to go first. I think it's your turn to go first. Okay. Yes. I never remember. Fox News reported earlier that ZZ Top bassist Dusty Hill passed away today at the age of 72. They went on to explain why he would still be alive today if it wasn't for Antifa and Fauci misleading the American public. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I'm going to also do a uh, Dusty Hill joke. That's okay. so weird that we both do it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes we write sometimes. 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 So sometimes. Weird. Uh, Dusty Hill, legendary bassist for ZZ Top, passed away at age 72. He died in his sleep. The news is extra upsetting considering Ted Nugent is also 72 and still very much alive. <laughs> yeah, I don't like either one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no. You like ZZ Top? I didn't like ZZ Top. Really? No, I was no, not crazy like, about ZZ no. Top. But, no. but like... I don't care about Ted Nugent's music. I don't like Ted Nugent as a person. Yeah, I don't like yeah. either. Like Ted, Ted Nugent's a piece of shit. Was, yeah. was Dusty Hill no, a piece of think, shit? No, I don't think he was okay. a piece of shit. Yeah, so. I mean, I, it sucks that he's dead. I didn't mean it to be like... <laughs> <laughs> like hey, yeah, his to, music sucked, and hey, I'm glad he's dead. to the Bill Squire show where AJ shits on the dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, there are some dead people I'm glad that are dead. Um, but Dusty yeah. Hill's not one of yeah, them. Yeah, there's some alive people that I... Wish were? were you know... Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'll wish people dead outright. <laughs> yeah, like Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Like oh, if yeah. he died, I'd throw a party. Mm-hmm. He's a piece of shit. Too, if Ted right? Nugent died, I'd throw a party. I don't like to wish people dead, but like if they were dead, I'd be like, okay. Oh, oh I'll right. wish people dead. Do you? Oh, yeah, all the time. Do you wish me dead? No, I, okay, you've never given me a reason to, okay. to wish you dead. If you gave me a reason, I will like, legitimately wish you died, <laughs> but I won't be a party to it. Do you wish upon a star? Is that how you do no, it? No, but like yeah, in my are head. Are you some birthday okay. wishes on these? <laughs> <laughs> maybe when I was a little kid. I wa- as, as maybe, little kid, maybe little I did. Oh my God. Maybe <laughs> I did. I did use a birthday wish on that. I don't remember who. I'm killing somebody. Yeah, but I, you know what? I think die. I did. I think I did. I think I did. Uh, there was this kid that I went to school with. I was like, oh, if he died this year, that would be really cool. Is he and alive then, still? <laughs> yeah, he's still alive. Birthday wishes don't Damn. work. Yeah. You yeah. have to believe. You probably well. You ruined it because you told us. And birthday wishes knew you were going to eventually. I mean, tell he's going to mm-hmm. die someday. That's like, true. That's he's a not going to beat it. Yeah. The no ravages one, no of old does. age. The mm-hmm. ravages of old age will deal with him more crudely and foul than I ever could. Right. So poetic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What's another joke? Um, but I like ZZ Top. I think they're, yeah. they're fun. Did you, know, did you know Billy Gibbons was Jimi Hendrix's favorite guitar player? Yes. A lot of people don't know that. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's a pretty cool Alan mantle. brings that up pretty regularly. Oh, really? I mean, like whenever we talk about ZZ Top, that's mm. a little factoid he'll, mm. he'll lay out there. So that's gotten into my uh, little stupid head. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, COVID-19 is now the leading cause of death in L.A. County. It just edged out homeless stabbings by four. <laughs> <laughs> It's making uh, a big comeback. Homeless stabbings? Well, that because there's <laughs> yes. more homeless people than ever before. And uh, COVID is making, you know, it's putting up big numbers this summer. Yeah. And uh, things are getting weird again in some places. Yeah. yeah. Masks yeah. are coming back. Uh, the comedy store in LA is requiring a vaccine. Like, the, like you have to the little proof. have your proof. Yeah. Hmm. And I think it's very funny when people are like, but the vaccine doesn't even do anything. If there's only a blah, blah, blah percent, it's like, can you just for one moment understand that there's some people that are very susceptible to this virus? So right. even if you are not, if you get the vaccine, the spread of it goes down. And also people that are immunocompromised are safer because you got vaccinated too. Why is that so hard for people to get into their fucking head? I'm still thinking about ZZ Top. I think they don't I don't I think they just don't care. I about think so other too. People. I, I really think it's that and it's really telling that there's a lot of people that just do not give a fuck about another person. Right. Yeah. It sucks. Sad. 
It is sad. I know that's just like AJ to... doesn't give a fuck about ZZ Top. Yeah, and, and his we need dad to... doesn't care about him. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that's why I moved to Oklahoma. That's why all those <laughs> homeless are stabbing each other. I was actually talking to a friend of ours that lives out in LA now, and I talked about how I want to move out there and be uh, the the king of the LA homeless. <laughs> That'd be like, cool. I'm gonna move into the tent city and get like what like a I feel helmet. Like that's a bigger <laughs> made out of an elk's head. <laughs> I feel like that's a bigger <laughs> undertaking than you think. I'm. I could be a charming guy. I didn't say you. I can't. don't think you need to be charming for uh, them. I think you have to. You have. Uh, yeah, that's. That's not how a, any cult gets started. I just well, start a cult in the homeless tent community. Well, you start a cult. Okay, and that's. <laughs> I'm just like. What are you okay. gonna call it? You need a good name for it. You need to, something like. Uh, how about uh, Heaven's Gate? No, no, or, you can't. Or, don't or, see or, or Nexium. That one's also taken. Yeah, we've got to be original here. <laughs> that's one thing that comes down to it. When you're starting a cult, you got to have. An interesting but original name. You can't just be piggybacking off of other people's stuff. It's not like Dante's Peak and Volcano. You got to do your own thing. What about um, what about the Beach Boys? Because that's like you know, that would be cool. okay. That could be good. <laughs> that could be good. Yeah. <laughs> taken, but you think it's taken? Um, yeah, it's pretty taken. Oh. Yeah. Come on, think of a good cult name. The Ramones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got it. Right. Yeah. The Seattle Supersonics. That's available for now. It is. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Are you, you going to be in Seattle? In that case, you should go to no. Seattle. No. No, I want to no, it's the king of the LA tent community. But they because have when people community. will be like when people will be like, "Oh my god, the Seattle Supersonics are up to another murder." They're not going to look around LA for us. That's a good point. That's very They're be like damn. somewhere that's, in that's Seattle. A, yeah, all right. That's, that's pretty good smart. Cult pretty smart. logic. Good job. That's See? Good, I told yeah, you. you have great cult logic. <laughs> Tommy, yes. I ha- I have a offer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here comes his charm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Paris Hilton shut down rumors that she's pregnant. Hilton was upset with the rumors spreading and said pregnancy is unlikely since she took Plan B like Skittles in her late teens and early 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Erector womb. It's like a... Destroyed it. Yeah, like a coat, coat hanger factory. I take I take Plan B every time I have sex. That's good. Do you? Yes. Yeah. That's good. I take he's it. never been pregnant. Never been never pregnant. Never? Fuck. Nope. I sh- shove a couple of them up up my up my butt, <laughs> <laughs> and kill all the, the little uh, tadpoles traveling around. Do you think sperm <laughs> realize what they're doing? Uh, they're just like. Do you think sperm like traveling <laughs> up the colon? <laughs> The like knows <laughs> that they're in the wrong spot. <laughs> they're just like, hey, where are we going? <laughs> well, but the, the thing it's is, really tight sperm in the butt's not really traveling anywhere. In a woman, it's jumping around because it's <laughs> built for that. I think the sperm are kind of just like, okay, we're heading somewhere, right? But like you, you get the the semen to the cervix, correct? The, yes, the sperm is and then, cement. Yes. And then it jumps <laughs> into the the egg. It swims into it. But you, there's like if you come in a butthole, uh, the uh, so there's, that's, that's, there's just a bunch the, of sperm going like they're just sitting around. They're they're just in the puddle, just swimming around in the semen puddle. But there's no egg to get to, so there's there's really no where to go. Sperm in the butthole is like cement. Sperm in the vagina is like a swimming pool. That doesn't make sense to me. Yes, it does. Liquids. <laughs> <laughs> Next joke. Well, I'm just. I think you gave a good analogy. Like coming in a butt is like if you were to come on a right sidewalk. So it's it's it can only the the sperm lives within the semen. It can only go so where the semen is. Yeah. Right. No, I understand <laughs> yeah. that. I get that. But I'm just saying, at some point, like the sperm are kind of in there, going like, "What? What's the deal? Oh, yeah, Where are we?" Yeah, but, for but, sure. That's but all the, I was saying. But that's but that's how sperm feels <laughs> most of the time because it's not like we're putting sperm in vaginas to get to a cervix what? all that often. Why are you saying we're? Like you keep saying <laughs> we're <laughs> because so like, we're not putting. I mean, we're putting it into pies. I'm, I'm and, talking about like men. Like oh. when, when we come. We're wasting sperm all the time. I waste sperm like it's going out of style. Yeah, like that's that's. I'm a very waste yeah. sperm guy. It's the only yeah. thing I like to do with sperm. Yeah, it's it's waste, it. waste it. I like to waste it. I don't like it to become useful. A human. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, do a joke. This is not terrifying at all. Studies conducted by neuroscientists find that rugby players have significant brain damage. 
And this is how we determine which children will go on to become good rugby players. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't get that game. That's a silly game. It's a. Uh, I my daughter played it, and uh, I figured it out a little bit. But it's just. It's stupid football. It's it's. it's what, what's the like? I I know what they look like. They kind of look like footballs, but yeah. not really. But like, what what's the difference? It's like a watermelon shaped football. You can't yeah, you yes. can't throw it forward. You can only yeah, throw you it can, backwards. You can only throw it backwards. You, you, what? You kick it more. You, you can, can kick, kick it, it forwards, forwards. Okay. but you can't you can't like run a play for someone to go on your team and catch. Like yeah. you kick it, you're like giving it up to the other team. Hmm. It's a weird game. Interesting. It was, yeah. But there were some kids on her team that were like beefers, and they would just plow through. Mm. the other team and that, that was fun to watch that's she was, cool she was a skinny little like nothing like, I like how you call them beefers <laughs> they were beefers <laughs> there, there's some big beefy <laughs> fellas no big beefy ladies oh uh, big beefy ladies and they were just fucking up the because it was you know how high school sports are there's there's some kids that develop way faster than others so there's like huge like athletes and i don't even mean like fat i mean like you know that strong you know that part in the rugby game where all the guys they like kind of like lock on the scrum that's how i imagine sperm (laughs) (laughs) in in an anus that's what they're doing they're like yeah what do we do do we break off play (laughs) making a play oh my gosh (laughs) Tommy, tommy made us drinks this week and they're very good oh yeah you like it Mm hmm. nice she made a pineapple upside down cake as a cocktail, not just like a shot. Not a shot. This is a drink drink. It was good. And I just ate my cherry. Mm. Ooh, eating on yeah. the mic. I'm stealing from Pound Cake. <laughs> Pound Cake eats on the mic. Oh, yeah. There's like this clip of him from his uh, podcast where he's like eating a gummy bear and he's just like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Got to feed my fish my gummy worm. <laughs> it's gummy worm. I like gummy him. Bear. I think it's good. I think he's great. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it your turn? My turn. Your turn. My turn. Okay. The Tokyo Olympics are finally underway, and in order to preserve my mental health, I won't be watching the U.S. men's basketball team. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a that's, that's a so two bad. topics. I know they're so bad. Dude. <laughs> um, I don't care about the Olympics. Me neither. I mean, I guess I want the U.S. to win, but I normally hate the U.S. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's like a very Odd time. Well, yeah, I mean, the Olympics shouldn't be political. Like, I, I'll I'll root for the the U.S. athletes because it has not really nothing to do with with you know geopolitical stuff. It's supposed to be like a goodwill thing, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like our best athlete just left. Yeah, and um, people are giving her a hard time. That Simone Biles. Oh my god, people are losing their minds over it. I think it's awesome that she was open about. She's Why? also 24 years right. old. Right. 24 in gymnastics years is, is ancient. 650 years old. Like, <laughs> usually gymnastics competitors in the women's division are like 17 at the top end. And that's oh, kind really? of like you should that. consider retiring right. and maybe work on being a neurosurgeon or something. Um, but I've she's won plenty of gold medals for her country. She can, right, she can take, she can take a break. Yeah, yes, I don't, I'm not definitely. all that worried about it. And also, like, if she knows that she's not into it, then she's doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Like, why sure. would you compete if you're not into it? Don't burn yourself out. Yeah. And like, you not even burn yourself out. Like, don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be like you're not performing at your best. You right. Know? If that's not what you're you taking up a, a spot mm-hmm. for somebody to be there. Right. Um, but like watching these old men on Twitter, like loser men, like. Michael Jordan never quit during Game 7 of the Finals. Yeah, because he never played Game 7 of the Finals. <laughs> well, you, He only played the six games. But th- there's also another point to that. He left basketball for in three, general for yeah, three years. For three years because his fucking mental health was shit because his dad got murdered and he was Man. feeling the weight of the world on him. Like, dude, you got you to... Gotta, like, but People just want to say what they, they say. But then also, like my, my friend was... Uh, she tweeted out a thing and she's like you hate mental health when it's like a person of color especially a woman that's mm-hmm. trying to take care of themselves but whenever there's a mass shooter that you know shoots up a school and it's a white male they're like oh well, mental health's really important like so make up your mind yeah yeah that's a good point. That, that is a terrible olympic sport school shooting yeah <laughs> but you, you said dominates what <laughs> yes we do 
<laughs> I don't root for the U.S. in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your next one? This is my last joke, actually. All right. I'm running a little short. Oh, yeah, I'm running okay. a little short. Wow. This is my fourth joke. Um, a couple who was married for 73 years died hours apart from each other earlier this week. Their grandson posted on social media, God was up to something. <laughs> yes, he was. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> God is a serial killer. Did he really the biggest, tweet the greatest, that, though? Yeah, something like that. The something greatest like that. serial killer of all time. That's right. No one's ever caught him. Nope. Because he's not real. Because he's <laughs> not real. <laughs> Nobody can even prove he exists. It makes, it the, makes him the best. I like doing this. I started doing this last week. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, do you guys like do it? Do you feel relaxed? Fine, yeah. I do. I feel chill. If you, I feel chill, too. If you like it, down. yeah. Are you just trying to look cool. like me? Because this is kind of how I'm sitting. leaning back like yeah. two thugs. I mean, I can like get... Do you want thugs. a microphone like that? I have one no. more. No. I like this mic. You like that mic. I like this. He likes to hold it. Yeah. I like just doing this. I'm just like leaning back. I'm just leaning back. It's great on camera, too. I'm just going to lean back like this. All right. I'm not going to look at you guys the rest of the show. I'm going to save that joke for last, but uh, this next one is Kelly Clarkson has agreed to pay her ex-husband $200,000 a month in spousal slash child support. Finally, a white man gets what he deserves. That's right. <laughs> hey, Kelly, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Damn it. <laughs> See, you got the fifth joke right there. Yeah, there was, my, back there was my fifth joke. There you go. There was it. I just wrote man, that one on would, the fly. All right. Would you be a... Like would you ha- you don't want kids, right? I ideally no. No. But would you be a parent for two hundred thousand dollars a month? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, you're yeah. asking the wrong question. Okay, what's the question? <laughs> Can I pay you two hundred thousand dollars a month? Okay, no, no, no. That's not the question. The the question is the two hundred thousand dollars is the parent. Like that's what's gonna raise the kid, right? The month, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, here you can have like twenty thousand dollars a month. Take care of yourself. <laughs> you know, figure it out. It's a tough world out there. I mean, you could, you could. I would look at it like a project. Like I'm like, okay, I get two hundred thousand dollars a month. I'm gonna take a hundred thousand dollars for myself. Live off that is you know oh, yeah. tough 50, as fifty fifty is tough as gonna be. Then I take that hundred thousand dollars. And you know what? I'm going to even go different. I'm going to go $50,000 for myself. Then I'm going to take $50,000, put it away for the kid. And then this is assuming you have one kid. I don't know how many kids she actually has. <laughs> and then uh, take that other $100,000 and make it so that kid is learning the best shit all the time with the best teachers, best high end yeah, schools. High, high end schools. But like, not even just that, like going on, like, deep sea dives with James Cameron and shit like that. <laughs> like like just getting incredible hanging out the Neverland experiences. Ranch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just just getting incredible like once in a lifetime experiences and seeing if that kid almost better if there's two kids. <laughs> so I can have a control group. <laughs> but like see what what kind of person that kid becomes. Does it become like the best, most like interesting kid ever? Or does the kid just become a spoiled piece of shit? Right. Mm. Mm. My mm. money's on spoiled piece of shit. Probably. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. But but I think like not just giving them like privileged, but like interesting. Like be like, all right, here's a month where you're just gonna go live in a foreign country. Yeah. And and help people stuff like that. Like a missionary. Yeah, but like not a missionary, like, like a, a like a like a, like a Mormon missionary. Yeah, but but <laughs> Mormon missionary, I was proselyting. Uh, they're not gonna be proselyting; they're gonna be helping. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. What's that? That's a big fancy word. Proselyting. proselyting. Yeah, what does that, that, mean? that means like uh, trying to convert people to your religion. Okay. Oh. All right. Last joke. Astronomers have seen the back of a black hole for the first time. What's it look like? Nice. It was an outtake from Megan Thee Stallion's swimsuit issue cover. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the best ass. Oh my god! It's I'm ass. I look at that with the Hubble telescope. Hubble, <laughs> Hubble. Hubble. <laughs> That's right. We'll see, let's see if the let's see if my cement travels <laughs> anywhere. I hope string <laughs> theory is correct. <laughs> 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 We went really fast tonight. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that was a quick show. We just blew right through nap time. Does anybody, got any, does anybody got any stories? Anything happened to you this week? Uh, EJ, did you knock over an old man again? No. They called me. 
What? The gas station called no, me. No, they did. Really? They did. Yeah, they were just like, "Hey, we just want to let you know he's okay." And I'm like, "I don't care." Wait, how, how did, did they, they have your information? They took my info just oh, okay. in case he was like going to get sued or something. Oh, okay. I could have been like a witness. This place, okay, I could have gotcha. been like a witness. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's good that he's okay. Yeah, he's good. But I'm like, oh, okay. So he was <laughs> right all along. Yeah. You're like, I give <laughs> no fucking right shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would never call somebody. To update them about another stranger. Yeah, I, I didn't really care. <laughs> what about you, Tommy? Any crazy stories? Uh, well, you said you've been having some belly issues. Ugh, yeah, belly yeah. issues. I get mm. to have some fun tests in a few weeks. Ooh, we get the camera up the butt? I get the camera up the butt and then a camera down my throat, too. Oh, oh my God. God. Be great. Well, you, well, you're, At the same time. She's making some real extreme OnlyFans <laughs> content. <laughs> <laughs> no. This will not be recorded. <laughs> not by you, by the doctor. Uh, well, ooh, yeah. I hope not. You should ask him for it. Yeah? Yeah. Be like, hey, can hey, I put this on my OnlyFans? I mean, like, this is what my insides <laughs> look like. <laughs> I'll, you. I'll give you a portion of it, of the copay. I don't. <laughs> right. How many eggs did you get up there? No. No, there's none stuck. There's nothing stuck. And she didn't put them up her butt. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not that stupid. Don't, don't put any more. Yes. Any more gay thoughts? Ah, yeah. no. I feel like the gay no. thoughts was like a couple weeks ago, and mm, since yeah. then it's really that, uh, just delved back into the old <laughs> fashioned uh, straight thoughts. Straight thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Good, old, good old fashioned straight. <laughs> good old fashioned <laughs> straight. Non confusing straight thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> did did that couple ever reach back out to? You? Uh the girl did, but like never as like more just to be like, hey, everything's cool, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Did yeah. she? Um, did she ever watch the episode? Yeah, she did. Oh, what'd she say? She was like, oh, that's funny. Oh, oh, yeah, oh she, like, yeah. she didn't like refute what had happened. No, no, no. She was like, yeah, that was precisely what was yes, happening. Yes, 100%. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, well, that's cool. Good. That's good. Yeah. That. yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess this will just be a short one. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's fine by me. Yeah. I've, I've had, well, what's going on in my life? Not much. No? I'm how's your, the gym. how's your album sales? They're fine. Could have been better. People stream it more than they buy it. Oh. So that's, I mean, but that makes sense. Yeah. Who does, people don't really buy music right now. Yeah. or buy uh, comedy albums. So, I mean, I'm still happy with what, it, like, it's the best album I, like release I've ever had. So I'm actually really happy with it. Cool. But it's like, when you see how many people stream it, like, man, imagine if all those people had bought it. it. Right. <laughs> I'd, be, yeah. I'd be doing real nice right now, but mm. I get it. Times are tight. Yeah. 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 So that's all. Uh, I'll be at Hilarities this weekend. You guys got anything to plug? No. Nope. Uh, nope. Tommy LC on OnlyFans at AJ DeCosimo on Instagram. And uh, thanks for listening to this uh, episode of the Bill Squire Show. This is the Bill Squire Show.